I didn't think I was going to do any more videos on waterfowl, but I decided to do one more on rigging your decoys. This is going to be a great video, so now would be a good time for you to subscribe to Bannock Outdoor Television. I'm going to show you how to do my modified Texas rigging on a duck decoy. I take about six foot of uh, weed eater cable, 0 0.80 that you can buy at Harbor Freight for about $10.99 for uh, 200 feet. It's about half the cost of PVC or some of the other stuff. What I do is I just take my three fingers and wrap it around, make sure I got enough so that I can, I can go through at least four times. Let that line, you can see how that line just wraps around. It just, uh, you just have to lead with the line and I'm gonna get one try to get one more out of it. Well that one tried to get away from me there, running back down and clamp him up. And I always I like to do this when I'm not hooked to the decoy because uh, I can always run it through the hole that I want to run it through on the decoy. Okay, now I'm going to clamp that clamp down good and tight. As you can see, I have a good ring that goes on the, to go on the carabiner. I don't want it too big because I don't want it sticking out of the water. And then I'm just going to run it through the decoy. I'm using older decoys today for a reason. Uh, all my other ones were rigged. So I'm going to put a clamp on it. On my weight, I'm going to pull it down to where I want it. And I'm going to clamp it up. And that's my modified Texas rigging. I know a lot of guys that use swivels and all kinds of other stuff on them, but uh, I just like to rig them that way. That's the way I like to rig it. Now for the next one we're going to do, we're going to measure out about six foot of weed eater line. And this one here I'm going to do so that I can set it up to use on a jerk line. When I do a jerk line, I always make a big loop in my line so I can run stuff through it. And what I like to do is, we're gonna do the same thing on this end, we're just gonna, we're gonna wrap it around three or four times. And I didn't get enough tail on that one. We're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. That's about the size loop you want. You can make the loop any size you want. And then I'm going to wire it through. Come back through again. Remember, this line wants to turn its own way, so just let it turn the way it wants to go when you put it through there because it's all going to come out fine on the, at the end. Let's see how that wants to pull away. So I'm just going to take, and take that line and run it right through up there like that, right through that loop again. And it comes out perfect. Now I'm going to take and my tail's a little bit longer than I like, so I'll cut it off later. Old men with old eyes. I should have worn my glasses today. There we go. Going to run that up. See the size of the loop. Since I made the loop too big, which you're going to do if you're going to do a lot of these, I'm just going to take and put it on my cutting block here, and I'm just going to trim it down. I'm going to run it through the decoy.
And I'm going to do the same thing on the inner end. I'm going to put the clamp on. And I'm going to put another loop in it. About that big. I'm just going to go through it a few times. You can see how that weed eater line wants to just go by its own way, the way it wants to go or na naturally turn. So we'll just let it naturally turn as we go make our loop. There's our loop. That's about the right size. We're going to clamp up, clamp them together. Tighten the clamp down on both sides. Make sure you do both sides of the clamp when you do this. We're going to cut that long tail off. And what I do now is I put a carabiner on that, just like that. And that way, when I hook it, when I run this through my uh, jerk line, I can hook both pieces together, and it's just about the right length. And you can adjust the links once you get to the field of what you like. Now, and since I don't want to do, uh, just have it set for a jerk rig, I go ahead and make a loop. Doesn't have to be that big a loop, but I make a loop. And I put my weight in there, my anchor, my decoy anchor. You can make it the size you want. I'm gonna clamp it down good and tight. And now, if I want, I can take and use that with a weight on it as a regular decoy. I don't have to just use it as my floater. I'll carry four or five of these weights with me so that uh, I've got decoys that can be used for the jerk line and for the, uh, just to put out regularly like you normally would. The last one we're gonna do is the spinners that we made. I'm gonna show you how I rig those. I don't put near as much uh, weed eater line on them. Just going to put a clamp on it. Going to run it through the hole that we made with our wire. It's just as simple because I'm just going to set this out there with my decoys so that uh, the spinners are spinning so we have a little more movement in our decoys than no normal. I like to get a little more. And then I put a three inch, we'll put another sleeve on it. Another clamp. I'm going to use three ounce weights on these because uh, that's about all you need. They're not going to get away from you. And roll it down. Clamp it off. And we're rigged. Pretty dang simple, you know. And uh, the great part about these are, when you pick them up out of the water, they just automatically fall right to the right to where you want them to on the on the weight. Now I'll hang these for a couple of weeks and and stretch out that uh, line so it doesn't curl up, and that's how we do it. So thank you for watching. And uh, now would be a good time for you to subscribe to Bannock Outdoor Television. We hope you enjoy our videos.